Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I count macros and calories. Happy almost end of December. Happy almost 2020. Three. I am so excited for today's video. We are going to be talking all about my 2023 goals. We're going to look back on my 2022 goals. Did I hit those goals? Which ones were I successful with? Which ones were I not successful with? We're going to talk all about it. I'm going to share with you my word of the year for 2023, and I may shock you with what's happening for the new year. I have some pretty lofty goals in store for 2023. 23. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, I will link my vision board. We're going to go through my vision board. I'm going to show you what I use for a vision board every single year. I actually bought it last year off of Amazon and I love it. It's a reusable vision board, which is great for the environment, great for your budget because you can use it year after year. Mine actually sits right there on my wall. So it is always in front of me, which is so great to keep mindful of my goals every single day. I will also link nutrition coaching where I offer personalized macros and calories, highly recommend, and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Come on over, join us there. We would love to have you. So I'm really excited. Let's jump in to recapping my 2022 goals, my 2023 goals, and let me show you first my vision board. reusable vision board. I used to go to the Dollar Tree and buy poster board and stickers and borders and markers and make my vision board every year, but then I ended up just throwing that away. So last year I went on to Amazon and I purchased this vision board and I love it. It is a dry erase board. You can reuse it year after year. So it's a really good value. I did hop onto Amazon before I started filming today's video and the board is actually on sale and is still available. So it will be linked down below for you. Highly, highly recommend this vision board. I love it. It is aesthetically pre pleasing. And again, it's a dry erase reusable board every single year. But before I show you my vision board, because it's all filled out for 2023, let's quickly recap 2022's goals. So I'm going to insert up here in the corner some clips from my goals video last year. I will tell you right out of the gate that when I downloaded this video off of my channel and started kind of going through the clips, figuring out what I wanted to insert, I was absolutely floored by my transformation over 2022. That leads me into my word of the year for 2022 was transformation. And I feel like I absolutely transformed, not only physically, but mentally, spiritually. My relationship with food transformed, my body transformed. A lot of transformation happened over 2022. So that was the perfect word of the year for me. And looking back over this video, the physical transformation seriously was crazy to me. I do not watch my old videos. So I kind of forget what I look like then and what I look like now and how big of a difference that is. So that was really, really exciting to see that big transformation. Now, my big goal for 2022 was to hit my goal weight. So my big goal, the main goal on my vision board for 2022 was to hit my goal weight. I set out this year to lose the rest of the weight that I had to lose, which by the way was substantial and hit my goal weight by the end of the year. So did I do it? Did I hit my goal weight? Did I reach that goal? We're going to put a pin in that. We're going to put a pin in that and here's why. If you follow my channel here, you know that I recently had an N body scan. Basically what that is, is it's a scan that does all your measurements for you, determines how much lean muscle you have, fat, water, what your bones weigh, really gives you an in-depth picture of your overall physical health. It tells you whether or not you're within a healthy weight range, whether or not you're within a healthy amount of fat on your body and compares you to other people in your same age group. It was one of the coolest experiences I have ever done. Now I haven't shared the results of that end body scan because I put a pin in that as well. There are a lot of things happening in the first month of 2023 and we'll get more into that when I go over my 2023 goals that play a part in the results of that body scan and my goal weight. So right now I'm not going to declare that I've reached my goal weight. I want to give some of the changes that I'm going to be making for next year 
a solid month before I determine whether or not this is my goal weight. When I do share that I've reached my goal weight, I'm actually going to be sharing numbers with you. I have never shared numbers here on my channel, but I'm going to share my numbers with you because it is so important for me to tell you what I weigh, what my starting weight was, what my current weight was, because I wanna show you that the number on the scale isn't necessarily what you see physically in the mirror. So that is another reason I'm holding off and declaring my goal weight, but stay tuned. Stay tuned, my friends, that video is coming. I also at the bottom of my vision board had listed out some different goals for the year. The first one was relating to overall health. My first goal, of course, was to hit my goal weight. We kind of already talked about that. We're putting that pin in that. Number two was to drink a gallon of water every day. Now I didn't drink a gallon of water every day. On average, I would say that I was between maybe 80 and 100 ounces of water. So there were days that I drank a gallon, but did I do it every single day? No, but I still feel really good about the consistent intake of water. And my other health goal was to be a little more whole food focused. Now, I don't think I did the best at this. Now, do I eat a lot of whole foods? Yes, but was it my primary focus? I don't think so. I mean, there were days that it was, but overall, I wouldn't say that my whole diet for this last year really was whole food focused. But we're gonna talk more about that in 2023 goals because a lot's gonna be changing in that area. I also set some professional goals or some YouTube goals for 2022. Number one was to reach 45,000 subscribers here on Jen's WW Journey. And I am so excited to report that we did that, we surpassed that. We're right about the 50,000 subscriber mark. So close. So if you're watching and you're not subscribed, subscribe because as soon as we hit 50K, we'll be doing a huge, huge giveaway. I'm so happy to reach this goal. It was a little bit of a lofty goal and we did it. So thank you so much to everybody who subscribed, watches my channel and supports me. I, from the bottom of my heart, it really means the world to me. I also have two other YouTube channels. One of them is Jen Clayton Nutrition. Now this is a nutrition based channel where I debunk nutrition myths. We talk about healthy weight loss. We talk about the best and the worst when it comes to foods and weight loss. If you're not subscribed and you're on a health journey, highly recommend. I share a lot of really valuable valuable information on that channel. I will make sure that all my channels are linked down below for you. But my goal for this channel was to hit 5,000 subscribers and I surpassed that, which is exciting. That was another really lofty goal and we did it. So if you're not subscribed, I'd love to have you subscribe so you can help me reach my big goal for 2023. And lastly, I have a beauty channel called Budget Beauty. We talk about beauty on a budget. I do a lot of makeup tutorials. I get asked all the time about makeup tutorials. You will find a whole bunch of those on my beauty channel. So again, that will be down in the description box. And my goal was to reach 5,000 subscribers. Unfortunately, I didn't quite make that. That was a very, very lofty goal. I think I was only maybe even under 2,000 subscribers at the time. And now I'm well over 3,000 subscribers, which I'm really, really grateful for. And I'm looking forward to that channel continuing to grow in 2023. I also had some personal goals. Personal goals are really, really important to me because I don't just want to focus on weight loss and my career. I want to focus on how I can better myself personally. So my first goal was to fit into my goal jacket. I actually shared my goal jacket and an update in a recent weigh-in video. I will pop up some pictures here of my goal jacket and I'm so happy that not only does it fit, not only does it fit, but there is room to spare and I am so happy that I made it into this jacket by the end of the year. I was at least 12 inches from being able to even close the jacket. I couldn't move my arms, it was so tight, and now it fits perfectly. I've worn it in several videos, and I couldn't be happier to make it into that goal jacket comfortably. My other personal goal was to travel. I really wanted to travel. Now that I've lost weight, traveling is much more enjoyable for me. I hated traveling at my highest weight. I wasn't comfortable on the plane. I could barely buckle the seatbelt, if at all. I was embarrassed. I didn't want anyone to sit next to me. It was definitely a thing, and now I love to travel. I love it. I can cross my legs on the plane. I have extra seatbelt, and every time I get on the plane, it's like a whirlwind of non-scale victories that makes me so happy, and I did that. I traveled a lot in 2022, and I have a lot of travel coming up in 2023 as well. And my last personal goal was to build my savings account, our savings account, Troy and I's savings account. And I did that. I was able to save quite a bit of money this last year. And one thing that I did this year that was really exciting for me is we decided to purchase a new car for Troy. I like to call it his midlife crisis car. He got a muscle car and I was able to pay for that car in cash. And it was not an inexpensive 
car. I was able to save enough over the course of the year to pay for that car in cash, making it so that to this day, we still do not have a single car payment. We have three vehicles, no car payments. The only bills we have actually is our mortgage. We pay our credit cards off every month and we've made some huge strides in not only saving money, but bettering our financial situation. And lastly were my fitness goals. In 2023, you're gonna see these fitness goals are gonna be crazy. But for 2022, my first fitness goal was to work out three times per week. Now I absolutely did that, not all of 2022. I don't think in the beginning I was working out three times a week, but once I moved to Arizona, hired my fitness coach, I now work out seven days a week. I exercise, move my body seven days a week. So I feel really good about this goal and I feel like overall I hit this goal and I, like I said, can't wait to share with you 2023's fitness goals. And the other fitness goal I had was to be the strongest that I ever have been, that I've ever been and I did that. I feel like I am the healthiest and strongest physically I've ever been and that makes me so happy over all the other goals numbers on the scale weight loss related the fact that i'm actually physically healthy and strong means the world to me there's no more hurting knees sore back puffing huffing and puffing going upstairs having to hang on to the handrail while i climb stairs those days are over i can book right up the stairs not huff and puff i am strong i am lean i am focused on building lean muscle and i'm really proud of the strides that i've made in fitness so that basically recaps my 2022 goals and i'm really proud of myself overall i feel like i was really successful reaching those goals so now let's talk about 2023 and 2023's vision board so this is what the vision board looks like. Like I said, it's absolutely beautiful. It is all dry erase. So there is a section for your focus word. And you can see that my focus word for 2023 is going to be consistency. I talk a lot here on my channel about being consistent. You have to be consistent to see results in any facet of your life, whether it's work related, family related, fitness related, health related, weight loss related, you have to be consistent in whatever you do. And for me to reach my 2023 goals, consistency is 100% going to be the key. You're going to see a shift in my focus for 2023. I've been in weight loss mode for a long time. I mean, truthfully, most of my life and really hit it hardcore in 2022. But now that I am really close to my goal weight, or maybe at my goal weight, weight loss isn't going to be my focus for the next year. And that's a little bit scary, to be honest. I've always had that weight loss focus where I can see the number go down on the scale and that's how I know that I'm doing the right thing for my body, that I'm transforming. When we don't have to lose weight anymore, we have to shift our focus to something else to keep us motivated to keep going on our health journey. So for me, those goals are going to all revolve around consistency. There's also a spot on the board for things that you're thankful for. I did fill this out last year as well. I am so thankful for my health my family and for Arizona. Moving to Arizona has been the best decision Troy and I have ever made. Not only did moving to Arizona allow Troy to not have to work anymore so that he can focus on his health conditions and bettering his overall health. He has a lot of health related issues. I actually did a huge life update video before we moved to Arizona. I'll link it down below for you. If you missed it, you can get caught up on Troy's issues and the reason we chose to move to Arizona. But the sunny weather every day really helps my mood. I feel great here. I love that it's warm and it's sunny every day. I love the community that I live in because we have tons of walking paths. I can walk a different route every day and it's beautiful. It's like out of a movie and that makes being physically active a lot easier for me. Not to mention that part of our HOA, we get to enjoy the gym, which is 1.2 miles each way from my house. I know because I walk there all the time. We get to enjoy that free as part of our HOA. So I have a gym at my fingertips as well. So moving here has been great for Troy's health, has been great for my health, and has been great for our financial situation overall. And then on the vision board, there's this fun little spot called dreaming of. And I really had to think about what I wanted to put in this spot for this next year. So for me, I'm dreaming of my next vacation because girl is planning on traveling a lot. And I'm also drinking, I'm also dreaming of being my strongest 
self. Like I mentioned, I feel like I'm the healthiest and strongest I've ever been, but strong means it's something a little bit different to me in 2023. It doesn't mean being able to climb stairs without hanging on to the rail or being out of breath. Strong to me means building lean muscle and being physically strong in my appearance and in my body. So that leads me right into my number one, the numero uno goal that I'm shooting for for 2023 is to be lean and strong. Lean means losing any excess body fat. Now, of course, I'm going to have some fat on my body. That is normal. But for me, it's losing all of the extra body fat, getting into more of a lean fit category and building muscle. I am all about building lean muscle. I'm not talking bodybuilder muscle. I'm talking about lean muscle. You know, the kind that burns calories all day. While I watch 90 Day Fiance, I'm burning calories. That's the kind of muscle that I'm talking about. And that is 2023's goal. Lean and strong. So in order to get there, there has to be some subcategories of goals that are going to help me reach that overall goal of being lean and strong. So first down here in the corner, let's go over my health goals like we did for 2022. So my first health goal for the year is to maintain my weight. I mentioned that I will be at my goal weight if I'm not already at my goal weight. So now I'm shifting my focus from losing weight to maintaining my weight, which is a huge shift for me. And that's where it gets real hard. Losing weight is hard, but maintaining maintaining your weight is even harder. My next health goal is to work out five days per week. Like I mentioned, I do work out or move my body seven days a week. Last year, it was three days a week. This year, it's five days a week consistently. Consistently exercising, working out, burning calories five days a week. Next to that is building lean muscle. Like I mentioned, my goal, lean and strong. And the only way to build the only way to build lean muscle is to get my workouts in and focus on my food. That leads me right into this final goal, which is really the goal I'm most focused on for the next year. And that is again, whole food focus, but that means something completely different this year. So what do I mean by whole food focused? I mean, whole food focus. I am cleaning up my diet hardcore for 2023. You are going to see a huge shift in the foods that I'm eating. You're going to see a shift in the foods that I'm making, the recipes that I'm sharing, because honestly, the only way to build lean muscle and to get strong and to get lean is to eat the right foods. Of course, staying in my calories, eating my protein. That's a huge part of this focus is lots and lots of protein, but it's really on eating a lot of unprocessed foods. I need to up my fruits, my vegetable game. I need to be choosing whole grains. I need to be eating foods that are in whole form as much as possible. Now we know that processed food is everything from frozen fruit, frozen vegetables, cottage cheese, yogurt. That's all processed. Those foods are fine. I'm talking about ultra processed foods, candies, cookies, chips, the things that really are just very, very processed. I really want to limit those in 2023. Now I said limit, not eliminate, not restrict. I am not going to eliminate any foods, but I'm going to eat a 95, 95% whole food diet with 5% being those ultra processed foods. One thing that is absolutely essential for me is hitting my protein goal every day. And because I have a big protein goal, I have to rely on some protein supplements. Those are processed. So for me, I need to be able to incorporate one to two processed protein supplements every day. And there may be days that I want a cookie. There may be days that I want candy or I want some chips. And I really believe in living a balanced, sustainable, healthy lifestyle. And that includes chips, candy, cookies, and processed foods. So I'm going to allow myself a little bit of a 5% window for those foods, but my shift in food is whole food focus so that I can reach my goal of being lean and strong. Now let's talk about YouTube or job related goals. So here on Jen's WW journey, we're shooting for 60,000 subscribers. That means that over the course of the year, I need to gain about 10,000. Based on last year, I feel like that's a doable goal. So once again, share my channel with anyone who you think would enjoy it. If you're not subscribed and you're watching, please subscribe. If you enjoy my content, you'll just help me reach that goal. And of course, of course, we'll be doing another giveaway at 60K. And then moving on to my Jen Clayton Nutrition channel, my goal is eight thousand subscribers. Now this is pretty lofty. That would mean that I would need to gain about 3000 subscribers. 
it's possible. My tr videos have really picked up traction. I feel like they're really valuable for anybody on a health journey. So again, subscribe to that channel if you're not and help me reach my goal of 8,000 subscribers. And lastly, on Budget Beauty, I would love to double my subscriber count and hit about that 6,000 mark. Again, if you love makeup, beauty, skincare, or you know someone that does, I'd love to have you join me over there. All of my channels will be down in the description box. And I'm really excited, fingers crossed, to reach all these goals. Now let's talk about some personal goals. And you can see in big capital letters, underlined is travel. That is another goal for me this year. And maybe, just maybe, I wanna travel more than I did in 2022. I love to travel. I wanna, that is for me where I like to spend my money. I feel like that's a valuable use of my money. I have some nutrition conferences this year to attend. I plan on another girl's trip to Hawaii. I would love to go to San Diego to see my best friend. My good friend, Michelle from Australia is moving to Atlanta. I'll definitely be going there. We're planning a girl's trip to Seattle. I have a lot of trips planned, so travel, travel, travel is in my future. Next up is double my savings account. So like I mentioned, I was able to really build up my savings account. Now I want to double that. Now I want to double that. I want to have quite a substantial savings account in case something happens. Like I mentioned, my husband does not work. So if something were to happen, we need to have a cushion. My job here on YouTube, my income fluctuates greatly. Some months are great, some months aren't. So it's really important for me to have that little bit of a cushion to support my family. Next up is to be more involved involved in my community. So you know that I recently, just a couple of months ago, joined my local boot camp. That has been amazing for community. I have made so many friends from the girls I go to boot camp with. So my goal this next year is to get a little bit more involved, whether it means volunteering for things in my community or joining different community related groups so that I can meet other people here in Arizona. We moved here knowing nobody other than my in-laws. I've become good friends with my next door neighbor, which I've become friends with her friends. So that's been great. And like I said, just getting more involved in my community this year is a huge goal. And lastly, for personal goals, this is going to not resonate with everybody, but this is something that I need to focus on. And that is I am only allowing myself to buy two eyeshadow palettes per month. You know I love makeup and my favorite makeup is eyeshadow palettes and I have a huge collection. This little bookshelf right back here, that's all eyeshadow palettes. I have well over 300. And whenever a new palette comes out, I'm like, come to mama. And it gets overwhelming. It's so, I have so many that my bookshelf is over filled. So I really need to curate my eyeshadow palette collection and only purchase the palettes that I really, really love and from brands that I really, really love. So instead of buying several palettes per month, I'm sadly limiting myself to two and I'm telling you that's going to be really, really hard coming from a huge makeup and eyeshadow palette lover, but it's a goal that I know that I need to focus on for 2023. And my last category for this next year is a little bit different and that's going to be focused on coaching. I am a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I have been for over two and a half years now and it is the part of my job that I love the most. I love helping all of you reach your weight loss goals, your health goals. I love sharing all the things that I've done that didn't work and all the things that I've done that does work so that that I can help you be successful. That's why I have this channel. That's why I became a weight loss and nutrition coach. And like I said, that is what fills my soul. That is what makes me the happiest. So I just introduced a new facet to coaching. I haven't even told you guys here on YouTube about it because I opened it up to my Facebook group first. So if you're not in my Facebook group, come join us. That's where you're going to get all the 411 first. But I now offer what is called all access coaching. I'll go ahead and pop an image up here on the screen. I will put all of the information down in the description box, but basically what it is is 24 seven coaching with weekly check-ins, monthly zoom calls, pictures, measurements, food plans, workout plans. It's literally everything you need to reach your goals. And I put that out in my Facebook group and I have filled all of my spots except for two. So if you're interested in all access, all access coaching, all the information is down in the description box. I have two spots left. So if you're interested, come join me. But my goal is to have at least 10 all access clients regularly. I want to have 10 people that I am one-on-one -on -one actively helping reach their goals with all access 24 seven coaching. So like I said, I'm two away from hitting that number and I just want to maintain 10 at all times through 2023. And my other goal, and I'm kind of excited about this. I don't know how this is going to happen, when this is going to happen, but my goal is to create a macros one-on-one -on -one 
ebook. I get asked all the time, first of all, what are macros? How do I incorporate macros? Why should I incorporate macros? If I do WW, should I do macros too? I get these questions a lot, so I want to create some type of digital ebook that talks about what are macros, why are they important, why are calories important, why is protein important. So that is something that I want to work on this year. Most likely I'll have to hire that project out. It's just not something that number one, I'm knowledgeable in, and number two, I have time for. But that is something I would love to bring to you guys in 2023. So that's my vision board for the new year. I am so incredibly excited for these goals. These are going to be hard for me. They're going to be very, very lofty goals, but I know that I can do it. I know if I set my mind to it, I can do it. And really focusing on this right here, a whole food focused diet is going to help me get this, is going to help me be this, is going to help me get lean muscle and maintain my weight. So I'm really excited to share with you whole food focus, what I eat in a day's recipes. I'm really excited for this. And being a weight loss and nutrition coach, I know that, that what you eat is so important in reaching your goals, especially if your goals are fitness related. There, I am, like I said, a little bit nervous about not having to lose a lot of weight this next year and how I'm going to maintain my weight. I know that that's going to be really rough. And I'm going to take you guys with me through the entire journey. And when I do put out my video where I talk about my weight loss journey, that I've hit my goal weight, share my weight numbers with you, we'll talk about maintaining and what my goals are for maintaining my weight as well. But I'm really excited for 2023. I feel like it's going to be a huge year. It's going to be my year. I'm going to do things for my body within my body that I've never done before. I'm going to focus on living a healthy life where I live a sustainable lifestyle. I eat the foods that I love. I travel. I build my personal savings account. I spend time with my friends and my family. I really focus on community and coaching and all of that is really what feeds my soul and what makes me happy. Let me know down in the comments, what are your 2023 goals and what do you think of the goals that I've set for myself? And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Make sure you subscribe to all my channels. You can help me reach my goals and of course gain all the valuable information that I share. Don't forget to check out the description box for all the videos that I mentioned, all the information on all access coaching, my vision board. I'll put that link that down below for you. Nutrition coaching, all of my favorite things and my Facebook group. Don't forget to come join us there so you don't miss out on all the excitement for the new year. Here's to reaching all of your goals and I'm going to be here with you every step of the way. Thank you for watching friends. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Jingle bells ringing in my ear.